Um, so it's a little bit of chaos. It will all be sorted. But yeah, this is the realities of finding space for everything, having to tidy stuff away, uh, just so you can put the camper back in van mode. Good morning from Plough Lane again. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the realities of van life sometimes. Uh, we're due to go into Bath today, so this is all going to need to get sorted and cleared up and packed away, ready so we can bring the popped up, pop up down, um, and get ourselves on the road. We've just finished breakfast, so this is all going to need to be sorted. All the worktops are going to be cleared off. Coffee machine will need to go away. Moving round, so uh, slightly the realities of having a dog with you. This is basically the remnants of Woody's bed because he sleeps on the floor at night. Um, so this all needs to get cleared up, table put away, um, and obviously turn the seats round. Going through. There's his lordship in his tent, not happy that he's been left alone in the tent. Um, we leave our outside chairs in the tent overnight, not worth putting them away every night. So we just had breakfast in here this morning. And obviously Woody's dog trolley as I like to call it, um, due to his back injury, we take this with us just in case he gets tired. Uh, the windbreak, still in sort of one piece from last night. Uh, I just pulled it out of the ground before we put the awning away. But that will all need to be sorted at some point uh, before we leave tomorrow. And that's Doggy um, Woody's car seat there. Um, so it's a little bit of chaos. It will all be sorted. But yeah, this is the realities of finding space for everything. Having to tidy stuff away. Uh, just so you can put the camper back in van mode. So one of the great things about the pop-up is it does create this shelf up here. So when the bed's up and out of the way, it's the ideal space for us to put our pillows. But obviously when you need to bring the pop-up down, you need to find somewhere to put them. So I either basically put them on the bench seat here that's absolutely fine i've decided we have too many cushions in this van um or they'll go in the tent with other blankets and things uh just for the day while we're out i'll decide more later okay so just a few minutes later uh all the worktops are clear this shelf underneath uh which for traveling usually stores things like those uh big westphalia um camping chairs is really useful when you're parked up and for when you're just using it as a day van or traveling because you can hide all sorts of stuff under there it's a really big shelf um so a lot of stuff has just gone straight under there now you might think oh it's going to fall out when you're driving no because woody's doggy trolley is going to sit in front of this so no problems there at all uh you have to bring the bed down um because it makes it easier to bring the pop top sides in and I've just noticed we've forgotten to shut the uh, vent up there. But moving into the van itself. So at the moment, his lordship is tied to the chair. He won't stay there. He will end up down there between us on the floor. We've tried all sorts of things and spent quite a lot of money on a very nice car seat for him. But he much prefers, don't you trouble, to lie on the floor between us. He's comfortable. He's safe he's stable um i keep my a hold on him as well so not a problem but anyway 10 minutes after the last time we spoke there we are all but ready to head off moving around to the awning <coughs> russ has already dealt with that he's taken uh the drive away down so what we do is we just pull this 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 end connects to the van and we just pull this strip out and that completely disconnects the awning from the van and then all I've done is I've just threaded it back in so it's not lying around 
and then when we get back, fingers crossed, we park in the same place and then just thread it back in and we're connected again. Okay, so short of bringing that pop top down, which is always a bit of a heft, I have to say. Uh, that's us ready to drive away and it's blow a buff. Right, Russ tried to film uh, me bringing the pop top down, but that was at that point that Woody decided to lose his mind. So uh, that got cut short. You might have seen some of it. Uh, but there we are done. It's all down. The only thing you have to do when you bring the top down is make sure that everything's tucked away neatly. That's why you bring the bed down um, so it can all fold in. It's actually relatively easy. It's just right at the last bit where you have to fit the clip. It can get a bit uh, difficult. Yeah, there we are, all tucked away. And the dog trolley fits really well in the back here. Part of the reason I bought this one. But it does fold down. So if we're really stuck, uh, the wheels come off, the front wheel comes off, all stalls away inside it, and then it all falls, falls down neatly, like your average push chair would, I suppose. Um, so I get to push this round bath <laughs> with everybody thinking I've got a kid in it, not a dog. Um, but yeah, that's us ready to drive away now.